What up? This is Shan and this is Cozy Womb Podcast. This is Ari. Say hi. Hi. Say hi, Anya. Hi. What up? Say what? Hey, my name is Shan, and this is Cozy Moon Podcast, and thank you for listening. Today, I wanted to talk about being enough. Um, maybe being enough and thinking that kids are enough today is kind of hard because uh, there's so much pressure by other kids at school, um, your family, uh, you have social media, and you just have a lot of society like pressure telling kids that uh, they're less than or they're not good enough and um, we just need to focus on ways to reassure our children that they are enough and that they matter so they can stay here and grow into adults that prosper in life and grow in life and experience life to the best of their ability so when I say enough I mean you know, we want to make sure their efforts are there and that uh, they give their best efforts. We never want to doubt our kids. You know, we never want to doubt their abilities. You want to make sure our kids are open-minded. We want to make sure that they're understanding of themselves and others. We want to make sure that they constantly exude goodness in their hearts and don't do anything out here malicious and spiteful to other people and we want to make sure that they are humble and hopeful every day because um, a lot of kids don't get a chance to learn every day a lot of kids don't get a chance to eat every day a lot of kids don't get a chance to play every day and a lot of children take care of other children in other countries whereas your child may not have to deal with that responsibility so we have to make sure that they understand all of that um, goes into them being enough and them being worth it and um, when I speak for efforts I make sure that um, their effort is continuous so um, I never tell Anya she can't do anything or something that um, I do here in the house unless it's dangerous I always make sure that she's applying herself and she's always um, getting answers for what things are and I try to answer all her questions to make sure that um, she's comfortable in what she's setting out to do and um, making sure I tell her that she's really close to finishing something good. I tell her that she's really um, close to doing it the right way or, um, you know, all that trying is about to pay off. Try to encourage her to go ahead and finish what she started. And I never doubt her. And I never um, allow her to give up on something very easy. And I try to speak really positive to her about a lot of things um, that she says she wants or she wants to draw something a certain way. I try to speak positive to her about um, her one day being able to draw something she sees the right way. And, you know, you got to push them to be better, but they also have to push themselves um, until that the result that they want comes, until that thing that they want to see on their paper comes on their paper. And that's com- completely beyond their fears. And um, they're only going to get beyond their fears if we stop doubting them that they can't do something. The open minded part. It comes from us. If we're open-minded and trying new things with them, then they'll be open-minded in trying new things without us and trying new things um, at school and with their teachers. And um, when kids are open-minded, they tend to not make fun of things that they don't understand first. They try to understand it and then um, form their own opinion later. And uh, that's going to make well-rounded adults. And uh, 
we just can't raise our kids in this bubble of what they're thinking life is all about because life is not all about one thing life is not only about the people that live on your street the people that live in your city the people that live in your town or your state there's a whole world out here and that's why i really um wish a lot of parents would take their kids um, out of the country and out of the state and on road trips because kids need to see things that they haven't seen. They need to be around languages that they haven't heard and they need answers to what they don't understand and that's going to help their open-minded thinking and their open-minded understanding and when it comes to like why people look a certain way and why people eat certain things and why they talk a certain way and why they wear something that, you know, every day that we don't wear. That's how kids form understanding is through answers that you give them. And that's how they're going to uh, learn how to maneuver in this world is through the knowledge that they get and if we're not reading to our kids and we're not taking them out different places and we're not answering the questions that they may have and making them feel comfortable enough to ask a question how are they going to get the understanding not everything in life is in the textbook in school not everything in life that teacher is going to be able to talk about So we have to do that. That's like that's like our work as parents. As far as the goodness part with the kids, that's going to come from us teaching them how to be good people. Hold the door for people. Hold your sister's hand. Hold your brother's hand. Um, Make sure you say excuse me before, uh, you know, passing someone. Or make sure um, before you go walk up to that person and ask them where the bathroom is, you say, excuse me, could you please help me? Or, you know, teach them how to form their words when they want to say certain things. And when they say things wrong, correct them and make sure they repeat it the correct way so they can get it in their head. That's how you're going to create good people. You know, I don't want to raise any kids that's okay with seeing another kid get hurt by other kids and not stand up and say something. I don't want that kid behind the cell phone that's videotaping. That's that's not the kid I'm trying to put out there into the world. I want that kid that stops what's going on. I want that kid that stands up, even though everybody wants to laugh and joke and think something's funny and videotape. I want that kid. That's the kid I want. But I have to be a... Uh, example of what goodness is about what it is to be nice to people you know teach them that not everybody in the world has money not everybody in the world has a home so when they see homeless people they don't call them names and they don't mistreat them that they treat them like human beings they treat them with dignity and if they have something more to give as far as food they give them food We need more well-rounded kids out here. People that, you know, walk around with good in their heart and not spite and hate. As far as the humble and hopeful part, that comes with experience. Kids are going to be humble when they see other kids that don't have what they have and they're so happy. You know, instead of having Christmas at your house and a bunch of presents that you go out and you work very hard to be able to purchase, go at a homeless shelter one uh, Christmas or New Year's and go serve some people some food because they don't have a home and they don't have a place to stay and they don't have warm food that they can go home and cook themselves. Take them to um, give out toys to uh, kids that are the less fortunate that really can't have all the toys that you can possibly buy your kids. That's going to humble them. Things like that, experiences like that, I'm going to um, do my best to do with my kids once they get to the age where they can um, help serve the homeless or the less fortunate. And I try to go through their toys all the time and give it away. And I try to go through their clothes all the time and give away what I can give away because I don't believe in wasting something that somebody else can use. That's that humble, hopeful part. 
Because if they can give to someone that didn't have, maybe in their minds and in their hearts, they'll feel like, you know, maybe I might get to a point where I can't have something, but I got to hope and I got to believe that if I do good and I do right, maybe that thing that I need may come. That's how you build hope in your kids and not doubt. Focus on your kids being enough because they are enough. Um, And if they don't feel like they're enough, there's something that we're not showing them. My name is Shan. I'm out. Good night, good night, good night, good night.